I've never, to be perfectly frank, I've never cared for, for old people. Most of them, I just feel that uh, basically they, they take up space, a lot of space that people could use. I feel that, uh, once you've lost your intelligence or your senses, that uh, you should give yourself up. You should, uh, you should just go off someplace and die. They should have a place for old people. Put them off there. Because they, they move too slow. I and mean, sometimes you walk in and uh, it's crowded and usually the people are causing the jam up of old people. They can't drive. All they want to do anyway is just sit in the sun on a park bench. I mean, I'm not in favor of killing them, but there should be some way we could get rid of them. You know what I mean? Just get rid of them nicely. No blood, something. Just get rid of them. I never been too tickled with kids either because most of them don't understand what life is about. I've lived life and I know what it's about. The young people are always screaming for things that they want things. They want this and they want that and they can't even handle it. They haven't lived, they haven't lived anything. But you find a place for them. I mean, off to the side till they grow up and then let them out. You don't have to put them, uh, I mean, you don't have to make any blood or anything. Just put them off till they, till they know what it's all about. Never cared for Jews either. Pain in the neck. All of them. Haven't met one yet that would, wouldn't walk right up to you and tell you he's a Jew. I don't want to hear that. Make no difference to me that you're a Jew. Why are you a Jew anyway? In the first place, you just want to cause trouble. Let somebody know that you're something. I don't care. They got all the money anyway. Loan sharks, all of them. Jews, no good. Brag about the holidays. I want to tell you about, well, we had a brisk for this, we had a brisk for that. Pain in the neck. All of them. They should get rid of them. I mean, they shouldn't, no blood or nothing like that, but just get rid of them. The niggas is a pain in the neck, too. All of them. Blackies. Now, damn revolution, they come around, want you to call them black. I don't call them black. I call them just as I see them. Niggers. When I see one, I let them know I don't like them. I spit. Tui. Not one of them's got a job. Every one of them's on welfare, begging the country, and then demanding this, demanding that, marching down, littering up Washington, D.C. Littering it up. I watched them on TV. I spit on the TV set. Niggers. They should get rid of them. I mean, you don't have to, to, to cause bloodshed or nothing like that because I'm against bloodshed. But just get rid of them. Put them someplace where you can't hear them yelling and begging because they don't have anything. And if you give them something, they just dirty it up. I don't like Irish either. Pain in the neck. Drink all the time. Never seen an Irishman yet, didn't have a big red nose from drinking. And always want to be in charge of the law, arrest you, hit you in the head with a club. 
Chore and Bigara. Bonk, hit you right in the head. I don't like them. And bring their damn religious beliefs over here and clutter up everything. You should get rid of them. Get rid of St. Paddy's Day, too. Who needs St. Paddy? He wasn't no cop. Send them off, you know? Just put them someplace. Get them out of the way. They're pain in the neck. Trying to get in the unions. Try to do this, try to do that. He met a president. Pain in the neck. I didn't vote for him because that's what he was. I saw him for what he was. Irish, and I know he's probably drunk in the White House. Drink too much. And the Italians, they're going tomorrow. Every one of them, the Italians. They don't do nothing. In the first place, I don't like the food. Second place, they're just the worst bunch of gangsters you ever want to meet. Haven't met an Italian yet. Wasn't a gangster. Wanted to run your business, get you out in the street and sell you dope. Hate them, all of them. Every place they go, always talking about their mother, how wonderful she was. Hell, if she's that wonderful, how come you're a criminal? Haven't seen an Italian born yet, wasn't born right in the jail. And they had, you should get rid of them, all of them. Put them off someplace. No, they don't cause no blood. Just gather them up. You're Italian? Yes. Boom. Put them someplace. There's places for them. They don't have to be here. The Mexicans, we to get, get rid of them today. They ain't worth nothing. Sneaking across the border every five minutes. Here they come, sneaking across the border, sneaking across the border. Can't speak English and begging for a job. Take up all the good jobs. Mexicans got all the good jobs. You see them out there. We give them good jobs in the first place because we felt sorry for them. Had them out there picking grapefruits and, and, uh, and uh, what, do you, what do you call that stuff? Uh, grapes was out there with a job. Now they're on strike, don't want to work. Want to make something for nothing. Get rid of all of them. They ain't no good. Never have been no good. Mexicans. They tried to kill us off anyway. Tried to have a war, but we got them. Good. And the Scottish people come over here. Ain't worth a nickel. Cheap, every one of them. You can't get a Scotsman to give you a penny. Can't get him to give you a half a penny without charging the interest. Walk around in funny clothes. I, mean, I got nothing against them, but they're just a pain in the neck. And you can forget them Puerto Ricans. 700 of them living in one room. I don't understand them. And they're all screaming and begging. Every one of them, you can hear them all, every time. Give us something, give us something, give us something. Hell, I worked for what I got. Worked hard. Started out when I was three years old. I worked hard for what I got. With these hands, I've built things, reared things, brought them up, understood what they were. Nobody taught me nothing. I look around, I see these people begging. I can see right away. As soon as I, I see a colored man coming to me, I know he's going to beg for something. That's why I spit when I see him. I see old people coming. I know they're going to slow things down. That's why I spit when I see them coming. I see young people. I know right away they want to smoke dope. They got long hair. I don't give them a chance. I just spit. Scottish, Irish, Jews, Puerto Rican, Mexican. What is America coming to?
Tell me. He let the Japs in. Now, anybody with sense knows see that the Japs, first of all, they flew in here and, and tried to take over. Now, we had them where they should have been. Had them locked up with a fence around them. You know what I mean? They was in there, they had the fence around them, and that's where they are supposed to be because then they, if, if you don't lock them up, then they get in them planes again and come right back and do the same thing again. No, they turn them loose. Now they got restaurants, they're making money, making TV sets, radios. They got more money than I got. Japs, I don't let one of them work on my garden. No place. And uh, them other people, their, their cousins or what, Chinese, can't use them. Now we're fighting them right now, and now's the time to collect them. They don't do nothing, they just hide every place, but there's always one someplace. I mean, you can go someplace, you can go to Albuquerque and find a Chinaman. Got his own restaurant. They got money. They don't pay taxes. I've never seen a Chinaman yet paid no taxes. And I'm not sending my clothes to none of them. Nowhere. Because I've never seen a Chinaman smile. You never see them smile. They're arrogant and they look at you like you're supposed to bring your shirt there. And that's why I don't bring it. When I see them, I just spit. Now's the time you could collect all of them. The Japs and the Chinks and put them in the thing. I mean, you know, I to, no bloodshed or nothing like that because I'm against it. Just put them off to the side, put the fence around it, see? You could have them all there. You could get them Irish, you could get them Italians, you could get them Mexicans, them uh, Puerto Ricans and the niggers, uh, pardon me. You could get the, the colored and the Scottish and put all of them in there, see? Now, I did have a friend who was uh, of Polish extraction, but he's so damn dumb, I didn't know what to do with him. So I just told him, I said, look, he's all right, but you can't figure nothing out, and you're always uh, wrong when you say something, so just get out, see? Now, um, I mean, the Polish people have never done me no harm, but if you look at where they live, you know there's something wrong with them. Just look at it. There's squalor and dirt all around wherever they are. So I don't, I don't, uh, I mean, I have nothing against them at all, but I just, uh, I just think that they need to go too. Get rid of the Polish people and uh, put them off, you see to a side where they can behave themselves. I've never cared for no Greeks, because that's all they do is uh, they want to throw plates and dance, men dance together. I've never put up with that, never cared for it. All of them need to be put off someplace and make this a better land, land of peace. Now, as far as I'm concerned, yes, it's true. Indians was here first. But this is survival of the fittest. And Indians wasn't fit. See? Uh, I mean, this whole life itself is, is a game of who has what. Now, if the Indian wanted to keep his land, he should have got a gun instead of a bow and arrow. Uh, and riding barebacks, he should have got himself a cavalry and some tanks and things. But, you see, they didn't have sense enough to do that, so they lost. Now that's it, Indians. Quit begging. And the next thing, they can't handle liquor, so they got no business being here in America anyway. If they just be quiet and just leave things alone, 
I could give them something every now and then. But uh, I've never been in favor of them, no place, because uh, they're weak people. And when you figure it out, it is survival of the fittest. If you cannot protect what's yours and I want it, if you lose to me, that's it. And then forget it. Need to just, just put them off someplace. Now, I've been to the South, and I've seen it. And it's pitiful, all of it. I haven't seen a, a Southerner that wasn't ignorant yet. All of them, black, white, green, red, every Southerner, ignorant, talk slow, got to drawl and do y'all this. I can't understand the thing they're saying. They don't have no heavy industry down there. I don't wear no cotton. I smoke tobacco, but that don't come from the South. And they always want to wave a flag, wave a flag. Talking about the South shall rise again. Survival of the fittest. You lost, you'll lose again. Not rise again, you'll lose again. They need to take all them Southerners and just get rid of them. Put them off someplace because they're embarrassing. When people come from other countries to visit dignitaries, we try not to show them the South because the people there are just ignorant. Everything about them is ignorant. They yell loud and, uh, and drink too much. And then you go across here to, uh, to the Midwest, and that's embarrassing. All Midwesterners, embarrassing people. Nothing but Bibles. God this, God that, Jesus this, Jesus that, that's all they believe in. And ain't nothing there, ain't nothing there in the Midwest. People don't know nothing about nothing except going to tent meetings. That's all they know about. Afraid to face reality. You say something about the Bible, they jump right up and want to hurt you or something. See, those violent people. Talk about the Bible and want to be violent. That's no way to live. They should take them, put them off someplace. I mean, don't shed no blood or nothing like that. The Easterners just as bad. Worse, greatest sinners in the world. Got cities just jammed up, people yelling and screaming at each other. I couldn't live there. I wouldn't even never go there. Overcharge you for everything. Say, this is good, that's good. The air is bad, they got nothing but smog. Forever, you can't breathe. They got uh, the, the niggers running half of the cities. The, the Italians are running half of it. The Irish running the other half, and the Polish is running the other half, and the Scottish running it, and the Irish and the Puerto Ricans is running it. Mexicans running these cities, and look at them. Squalor, dirt, and filth. That's all that's there. Go on up here in New England, people up there just living the same way as when they landed at Plymouth Rock. Some of them don't even have sense enough to know how to drive. Don't have cars. Just all want to pay attention to their religion. Religious this, religious that. You got to be a man. Get up and live. Now, I've got nothing against Jesus. I've got nothing against God. All I say is, you shouldn't be so dependent upon them. I did this with my own hands. I did it myself. I didn't ask nobody for nothing, and I don't need it. You don't need, we need to get rid of women, too. Now, they was all right for a while. But uh, lately, I've been reading what they're saying, and I don't need them. I don't need no woman to have me uh, washing dishes or watch, watching the baby, things of that nature. No, indeed, not me. Now, if a woman wants to be like that, let her go on off. I don't care. I couldn't care less. I mean, if they want to prove something to me, let one of them knock me out. They can't do it. They know they're not as strong as we are. What is it that they want? Now, they was put here to have babies. That's all. Put here to have babies, wash dishes. I'll go out, make the money, and bring it in if I feel like it. 
But see, I did all this with my hands. Ain't a woman yet can put up a building. I know that. They can't build nothing. How's a woman going to run something? How's a woman going to be president of the United States? Somebody say, we're at war, she start to cry. So they need to take them. Them that don't want to have babies, them that feel embarrassed because man wants to take them out and, 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 and say, them that says that they're, they're not pieces of flesh. No, they're not pieces of flesh, but if I want to take one out, I'm going to take her out. I buy the dinner, and she didn't pay for it. I expect something in return. I give them whatever they want, but I ain't gonna give them all that. Need to put them aside, all them crazy women. Need to get rid of everybody, clean this country up. What this country needs is a good flushing out. Flush it away from all these people, all of them, all the groups, begging. Give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that. Say, act like the country is God or Jesus. Oh, give me this, oh, give me that. And then you look around and ain't one of them willing to work for nothing. Niggas ain't willing to work. Jews don't want to work for it. And when they do get something, they want to keep it. And them Puerto Ricans, Mexican, all of them, you can get rid of every single one of them. I couldn't care less. Now, I don't want to do these people no harm. I wouldn't do them no harm. But I know one thing. When I see them, I spit. And give a good spit, too. Because there ain't none of them worth nothing. Not one single one. And that's why I'm proud to be what I am. I'm what? I'm a bigot. There ain't but two of us left. And I don't care for him. <laughs>